What's up, worlds? The Seven Worlds Gaming here today, and today we're gonna go ahead and talk about none other than the Bugatti Chiron and its upcoming cup because it's not only unique, but it's also one of the first times. Actually, it is the first time they're gonna go ahead and do this. But first of all, let me just go ahead and raise this beautiful, amazing looking car. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tell you a little bit more about the legendary Golden Cup for the Bugatti Chiron. Here we go! What an absolute stunner of a car, but there you have it right there, my, whoa, actually one of my two Bugatti Chirons in my garage. Now, first things first, let me go ahead and tell you a little bit more about what's going to actually go ahead and happen with the Bugatti Chiron before I tell you what's going to go ahead and happen with the Cub. Now, the Bugatti Chiron on the upcoming update that's going to be pretty much coming this next week, this car is going to go ahead and get a buff. A buff it finally deserved and a buff we've been asking for for the longest time ever and that is because this car is now finally going to be able to run in the 7 second mark. Now I'm not saying it's going to run at 7.0 but I'm saying it's going to go ahead and run somewhere between 7 seconds to 7.9 seconds so keep an eye out for that if you never had this car then don't worry because now you're going to go ahead and get a chance to finally get it once May the 4th comes around because the legendary Golden Cup for the Bugatti Chiron is going to be available, meaning that you will have a times 20 chance at getting this car with gold keys. So hopefully you were able to save up all of your gold keys. Now, the cool thing about this legendary Golden Cup is that after, if you are able to beat the 30 races, and let me just go ahead and tell you, if you do have this car, please go ahead and just start trying to max it out. And that is because... If you do beat the 30 races, another cup is going to become available to you. And that one is going to go ahead and be called the Evo Cup. Now, I think that one might be around 10 races, but it's probably going to go ahead and be one of the hardest cups we have ever seen in this game. And I cannot freaking wait, dude. And that is because if you actually beat the Evo Cup, then none other, you are actually going to go ahead and get a free car. And the free car you're going to go ahead and get is this one right here the bugatti chiron sport and it's just an absolute beast now the reason why i'm telling you to if you do have the card to go ahead and upgrade it and make sure you're ready for the evo cup is because this card that i'm currently flashing on your damn screen the bugatti chiron sport it's only gonna be available for that exact moment that like that is the only way you're gonna be able to get this car is if you beat the evo cup which is gonna be extremely hard. Now, if you do have the Bugatti Chiron in the background, do not worry, you are gonna be able to, obviously it is a golden cup in a sense, it's just with a different name, I believe. So you are gonna be able to buy more crates if you wanna go ahead and go that route and max out your car. If not, just pretty much, I have saved up a ton, and I mean a ton of fusion parts, so more than likely, I will be able to just go ahead and add them. Or if not, if you were like me, and back in, uh, I think it was December of 2016, you ended up buying this amazing looking car right here. The Bugatti Chiron CSR2 Red Edition. This one, you're actually going to be able to go ahead and use in the Legendary Cup and in the Evo Cup as well. Which I am super, super excited. And that is because none other than this car, I actually have it pretty stacked out. Now, I know there's some upgrades missing there. But as you can tell right there, I do have some stage 6 upgrades that I have not fitted yet. So I'm really looking forward. So just to a, a quick little recap, you will be able to use the red edition. I know a lot of people were asking me that. You will have a chance at using this car. And for the Bugatti Chiron Sport, you're only going to get a chance at getting this car if you beat the Evo Cup. So if for some reason you have had the Chiron, whether it's the, the red edition or this, the regular one, I mean, this car honestly has been in the game for the longest time. I believe the Chiron was like maybe the fifth car to be in the Crew Championship milestones. So it's really, really interesting. Now, quick little fun fact also about the Bugatti Chiron Sport is that this will be a purple star, obviously, meaning that when the Bugatti Chiron was first available in the Crew Championship, the purple star car, the Bugatti Chiron Sport is going to be able to go just as fast as that one. So, <laughs> I'm just kind of sold on that just because I already got two. And I want to go ahead and get my hands on a car that's only going to be available just for that span of time. You're not going to be able to get this car on your screen, the Bugatti Chiron Sport, 
via rare imports you're not going to be able to get it through the shop you're not going to be able to pay 20 bucks to get it in the future this is the only time it's going to be available in the game so hopefully worlds this information was helpful to you if it was helpful to you make sure you do not leave without leaving a like if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe and if you do have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments below but let me know worlds what you think in the comments below about this car finally getting a buff it deserved running between 7 seconds to 7.9 i'm not quite sure how fast it's gonna run i just know it's gonna go ahead and get a buff once again it has been your boy the seven worlds gaming i cannot wait to see this cup and i cannot wait to do this cup on the live stream and i'm gonna go ahead and see you in the next one take it easy everybody peace